Another very useful graph for kinematics is the velocity time graph. Similar to the position time graph, we're going to have the time on the x-axis. So in this case, uh, we have the time here from 0 to 10 seconds. And on the y-axis, we're going to put the velocity. Remember, for the position time graph, we had uh, meters per second. So now at any moment in time, I'm simply going to plot how fast or what is the velocity of the object. Now the position time graph and the velocity time graph are directly related. Uh, as you know, if you know calculus, the velocity is defined, instantaneous velocity, as the derivation of the position over time. For those of you that didn't take calculus yet, this corresponds to the slope of this graph. So if I want to figure out the velocity based on a position time graph, all I have to look at is the slope. For example, in my first part of the movement, in the first four seconds, I moved from position one meter to position five meters. So I had a rise of four meters over a run of four seconds. So four meters over four seconds gives me one meters per second of velocity between zero and four meters, uh, for zero and four seconds. The second part of the movement, from 4 seconds to 6, so by doing 2 seconds, I didn't move at all. So I have a rise of 0 over a run of 2, gives me a velocity of 0. And then in the last part of the movement, from 6 to 8 seconds, over a run of 6 seconds, I had a rise of minus 4 meters. I was walking backwards uh, 4 meters. So minus 4 over 2 gives me minus 2 meters per second between 6 and 8 uh, seconds. And that's how I find the velocity time graph based on a position time graph.